amphibians these includes amphibians so these are present in as well as water and terrestrial animals the amphibians are the present both living in water and also terrestrial so the general characters of amphibians the general characters of amphibians general characters of amphibians so skull is dicondylic dicondylic and uh, dicondylic skull is present and teeth are acrodont and homodont so in this nerve cord is present and respiratory system will be respiratory system will be highly developed will be highly developed and this is the organ system these amphibians exhibit organ system level of organization so this is the general characters of amphibians in this skull is dicondylic and uh, teeth are acrodont and uh, homodont nerve cord is present respiratory system is highly developed and organ system level of organization is present in the amphibians and in this breathing is done by respiratory system and some organisms having by the skin so example for the amphibians is frog that is the rana tigrina rana tigrina so rana tigrina it is a indian frog let me discuss about the digestive system respiratory system and excretory system and circulatory system of frog